until now, we've been representing atoms as little circles in our particle diagrams. We found out, however, that if we send electricity through water, different gases collect at the two electrodes. This implies that there are charges to be found within the atoms, and hence at a little bit more complicated structure than just a little sphere. So this lab is going to take us through how do we know that there are charges in atoms. For this procedure, you need sticky tape. Uh, the matte tape works best. Two strips of aluminum foil, about one inch wide and six inches long. Two strips of white paper, about the same size as your aluminum foil strips. You may also want a little Sharpie to label some of these things. The setup for the tape on this lab, you're going to need three strips of tape, about four, maybe four, three, four inches long. The first one you're just going to lay down as a base. So we're just going to lay that down on the table and lay it there. The second one, about the same length, we want to create a little handle. So we're going to take the end of that tape and just fold it over just a little bit. And we're going to take that and we're going to lay it on top of our base tape. And we're actually going to label this with a B. B is for bottom because that's going to be our bottom tape after we get our third piece of tape. And do the same thing. We're going to bend over just a little bit the end, form a little handle and lay that on top of our other two pieces. And we're going to label that with a T for top. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to pull up the bottom and the top. The base will stay there, but the two top pieces, the one that we've labeled, we're going to pull those, maybe, pull those, if I can get a hold of them. There we go, we're going to pull those up together, just kind of slowly, just like this. You're going to ground it by very gently just kind of rubbing it with your finger. So any charges that were on there, we're taking that off. Okay, so just take that with your finger and ground it. These two pieces, you're going to separate very quickly. This is what your setup should look like. You want them hanging down, and actually what we have found is if you hang them up here on the black part, they get stuck on here. So it works best to hang them from the wood part of our lab bench. Okay, so we have our aluminum here. We have our piece of uh, paper here, our strip of paper. We have our bottom tape, and we have our top tape. So for this lab, what we will do, we have a second set of top and bottom tapes that we did this, the same thing that we did, the same setup that we created these two, we created another one. So we're going to use that tape and bring it close to each one of these. Okay, don't touch it, but bring it close. And what you're looking at is, is there an attraction between those two materials? Is there a repulsion between those materials? Or does nothing happen? Okay, so are they attracted together? Do they come together? When you bring them close, do they move apart when you bring them close, or is there just nothing that happens? So you're going to do that with the top tape, the bottom tape, another piece of paper, and another piece of aluminum. So you will have data for each one of those. So the top tape, all four of them. The bottom tape, all four of them. Another piece of white paper, all four. Another piece of aluminum, all four. And that will be your data. So your data table will look like this. In each box you will write either an A for attraction between the two if they move towards each other, R for repulsion if the two move apart, or if nothing happens, write N. Now keep in mind that this is very subtle movement. Pay very close attention to what is going on and look for any slight movement. Sometimes what happens is your sticky tape gets grounded if you're going along and nothing is happening anywhere, you might want to set your tape up again and create a new top and bottom. For cleanup, everything can go in the trash. So before coming to lab, you need to have a few things set up in your lab notebook. Your title and your question, your procedure, and your data table.